Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? You guys are doing I'm doing good too. Welcome back on my video session. So today I'm gonna be showing you Nintendo GameCube games, how they can show up and run on USB loader GX. So I have quite a lot of memory things here, quite a few of them. So quite all portable. One of them is the usual uh, SD card I use for material museum and the payloader thing, yeah? So it's a Rakuten 16 GB SD card, which is this one. Can I show you? Okay. Is that one? Uh, okay. Another one is actually this is a Kingston Micro SD adapter, I would say. Actually, I don't show you that actual adapter. The actual card in it, yeah, which is. Yeah, of course it's a Kingston 64 GB SDXE uh, SDXE here, yeah. micro SD card, what, what do we call it? Yeah, so is that one? So it's a micro SDXE 60 G, 64 GB card, okay, so it's that one. Uh, right, the next one is Kyoxio 32GB USB flash drive. Check it out. Okay, is that one? And the final one is Toshiba 128GB USB flash drive. Okay. Okay. So now looking at these, okay, the the Rakuten SD card is FAT32. Uh, the Kingston Micro Micro SD XE is FAT32. Kyoxia 32GB USB flash drive is FAT32. Um, Toshiba Honda Toshiba 120 GB, what do you call it? Uh, USB flash drive is NTSC. That's the only different one, yeah? So we're going to try all of them out, yeah? So we will know FAT32 NTSC will they actually work, okay? And I will explain further on how while we're doing this, I'll uh, tell you if. If they work or not work, and why did on the why don't they work? Okay, so it's all about that kind of stuff. So the first card is the SD card, isn't it? The Rakuten SD card. So it's a I didn't tell you properly. It's a Rakuten SDHC. Because obviously, if there's more cards, there will be a SDHC, yeah. That's what it is. Now I'm gonna put that in in the Nintendo Wii U, yeah? Make sure it's turned off. Here we go. There you go. So now it's in the Nintendo Wii U. Right now, Nintendo Wii U is turned off. We're not going to put anything else in there right now. There you go. Now, I'm going to turn on the Nintendo Wii U. When you're just going to put the SD card in there, 
it's going to bring a dialog dialog on there yeah? on the USB loader GX I'll show you what happens I think you need to understand this part because it's quite quite frustrating why would it say that ok now I'm going to Yeah, actually, before we move along, actually, I'm gonna actually show you the the desktop PC first, yeah, because we need to know what's actually in them, yeah, and how it's set up. This is important before we do anything on the console, yeah. Okay, so let's place the let's place it into the PC first, the SD card. There you go, there's my SD card. Now root up your SD card. Okay, you need to make a folder called games. Here. Can you see that? G A M E S. Okay. You need to make a folder that. You need, make, you need to make this folder first. Once you made that folder, double click into it. There you go. Then all your GameCube ISOs will go inside there. Okay. The next part is. So I've got this game called Bloody Raw. So you need to have a folder called Bloody Raw. Once that's done, click on it, click on that, and then rename the ISO of Bloody Raw to Game. That's all. So you do all of this to all of these, yeah? You will do the same thing to all of this. Now here, folder called F0GX, and the ISO will be renamed to Game. Yep. The next one is Ikruga, yeah. So the folder should be named Ikruga. Uh, rename it to game again. Okay. The next one folder is Maricard Double Dash. Rename that ISO to game as well. Why well, it says game dot GSM? Doesn't really matter about that. We need to put game at the front. The next folder is Metroid Prime. I rename that to game as well. Rename the ISO to game. Okay. And the final one we got folder is Sonic Heroes. I rename this ISO to game as well. That is all on this one. So this is the Rakuten, Rakuten SD card. Okay. Now the next one. Okay. Now the next one I'm gonna put in is is the Kingston Micro SD XC memory card. Okay, we'll put that to the PC. Wow, that was short. Cool. Even on this uh, micro SDXC card, root of the card, you need to put a game, you need to make a folder called games. That's what we did with the previous one. Once we've done that, double click into it. And we've got a folder in here called Soul Cable 2. So write that down on that folder, Soul Cable 2, if it's not already done. Then double click on that. And you see what you should see an ISO in there and rename it to game. That's it on that one, yeah. There you go. Now 
Now the next one is a Kyoxio USB flash drive. So let's check this one out as well. So we got everything correct. Before we get started, we don't make any mistake because it has to be done like this. There should be no, no mistakes. Yeah, so root out, the, root out this flash drive as well. Make a folder called games. There you go. And you and I got a folder in there called Star Fox Assault. Write that down on this folder. Whatever game you've got. And double click on it. And rename the ISO to game. That's all. Now the next one is Toshiba USB flash drive. So let's check the final one. Here we go. There you go. Ah, what happened there? No good. Oh no, what happened to the blast drive? I use that for this drive, don't worry. Really. Yeah, keep on doing it. Oh no. What's wrong with it, man? Something wrong with it, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's working now. Yeah, keep on doing that. Good dodgy flash drives. Right. So root of this USB flash drive as well. Make a folder called Games. Once you've done that, yeah, you just double click on it. Okay. And here, here's a folder called Metro Prime 2. So write down on the folder whatever game you've got. And then rename the ISO to game. So everything is really set the way it should be. Because you have to make sure you've done it this way, yeah? Yeah, you have to do that whatever SD card flash drive you use, yeah? You have to actually do that, okay? Now we can move on to the Nintendo Wii U okay so I'm gonna put the Rakuten SD card in there the Nintendo Wii U so make sure your Wii U is turned off there you go so now I'm gonna turn on the Nintendo Wii U yeah here we go So this should be exciting. Now you gotta make sure on this uh, the USB loader GX. What happens on it? Yeah. So make sure you've got USB loader GX in your Nintendo Wii U, your SD card, where your flash drive, whatever you're using. Make sure you've got that in there. Okay, because you need that program in one of your, you know, devices like your SD card or your USB flash drive. Because we are using that program, yeah. So I already 
told you about the USB loader GX, how to install it. So watch the previous video, how to do it. Okay. Because it's important to do that, first of all. Because you need that program, yeah? So now I'm going to switch over to Nintendo Wii U. Okay. There you go. I'm back on the Wii U again. Guys. Okay. So from here, what you have to do, you need to click on the Wii icon, yeah? So I'm going to click on it right now. Oh, yeah. And then with your Wii remote, just press the plus button. Probably coming no signal anyway. <laughs> that usually it does. Yeah, nothing on the television again, yeah? So you need to watch it on the gamepad. So I will be showing you everything on the gamepad. Okay. So this is really important. So the only memory I've ins just placed in there, inserted, is the SD card, yeah? It's just the SD card at the front slot, yeah? I just in inserted the SD card. That's all inserted, nothing else. Now, when you just insert the SD card, yeah, you're going to come with this kind of dialogue. It's going gonna, it's gonna to scare you, but... But don't get scared of it, it's nothing really major. So we're back on here. Yeah. So we're going to click on that channel again. Where all the apps are. And you'll come on this screen. Okay. Now once you come on this screen, you will come on here. The apps. Okay, so let me get a bit closer so I could do it properly for you guys. Okay. So hold on. So I'm just going to click on it first, yeah? So click on USB Loader GX. Load it up. So you know what I'm going to, when I'm going to, when I'm going to load up, the, load, load the USB Loader GX, it's going to come with a countdown. It's going to say HDD. Then it's going to have a countdown on there. Okay? Because it says that, install the games on your HDD. Look at that. Look what it says. Look, I'll read that carefully. Look. He says that. Oh, yeah. I'll hold it up. It's hard to hold it up. You, you, you have to install the games to your HDD. He's going to say that. Now, when I'm going to load it up, because I haven't ins uh, inserted any USB device in there. I've only got an SD card in there right now, yeah? When I'm going to load it up, look what happens. It's loading, look. It's coming with a countdown. It can't locate it, the USB device. 
See that? Because I haven't, I haven't played, I haven't inserted it. If you do, if you don't insert it, that countdown comes. Okay, the countdown will come. It will do that. If you insert it like a flash drive and a hard drive, then that countdown won't show up. It, it won't come there. Okay, so make sure. You put a, like a, a flash drive and a hard drive. You don't have to. If you haven't installed your, if you haven't uh, installed any games on your flash drive or hard drive, you can do it from the SD card. Look at look at this, because these games are coming from the SD card. Look at that. Can you see what's going on? Okay. We now we're going to go into the settings. How did these games from the SD card show up? We're going to look into that right now. Okay? So let's go. It's going to be quite interesting. So I'm going to show you everything on the gamepad now. Okay? Wait for a bit, and then we can get started with the next part. Okay. Hold on a minute. Just setting everything up for you guys. Right. Nearly there now. Sure, with the Wii remote, you've got uh, some Wii Classic controller with it. Okay, got it important. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, there you go. Now, look at these games, right? Can you actually see that? Uh, maybe not. Uh, now, we can now a bit. Right, so it's the wait, one, two, three, fourth tab, yeah, at the top. It's a select loader mode. Right, first of all, 
you need to click here where it says GC games yeah you need to tick that once that's ticked you press OK and these games will show up now the next part what you need to look at yeah is here yeah this settings thing yeah it says settings click on that and then go on to loader settings first of all let's do some settings here yeah let's go down the okay, loader is 249 okay GameCube settings, okay? Let's look at this. Now, in the GameCube settings, make sure GameCube source is auto, alright? And the GameCube mode is Nintendo. Pro progressive patch is all up to you. Then you got this another Nintendo here. Yeah. Now, video mode should be auto. The rest of it is all up to you what you want. Now Nintendo don't again, yeah? Here, auto boot on. Now these on, you can just ignore them, yeah? Now the one I would select is Wii U widescreen. If you want widescreen on your gamepad, on your TV, whatever, you could turn that on. Put that on, yeah? The video scales is auto. The rest of you don't do nothing there. Just ignore it. And the memory card emulation should be individual and you know block size should be 251 and the USB HID controllers you could put that on if you want to use them the USB controllers on it and the GameCube controllers up to 4 okay that's all what you do on there go back now I'm going to show you how did them games from the SD card show up on the screen. Custom packs first. Ignore all that, yeah. Right, you know this part, SD GameCube path. Yeah. SD GameCube path. Make sure. So I'll do it again. Yeah. If this is your root of your SD card, yeah, you go to a, on your root of your SD card games. So it will be SD four slash games and four slash and nothing there. Okay. It's okay. That changes. That's it. And now when you go back. Show up. That's how you do it. That's that's how it's done. Now we're going to test each individual game if they actually work. Yeah. Here we go. So we'll go for Bloody Roll first. Look at that. See that. When you're going to try and run this game, it says error. Now, it's not working, is it? It says here, yeah, to run GameCube games with Nintendo, you need the boot.dw file in your Nintendo loader path. See, look what it said. Now, would you remove, press B button again? This is not gonna work, is it? This ain't gonna work. Now, what you need to do, you need to go back to settings on the bottom left. Can you see that cursor here? Just about here. Let's click on that. On the right arrow, click on it. 
go to custom paths okay and here scroll down tell you which one is till it doesn't say because it's it, why is it in the error because Nintendo load a path is this one he said that in the error Nintendo load a path so what you have to do you have to go to Nintendo load a path click on it okay you see originally it set it on st4 slash games 4 slash it's selected here by the games is it wrong what he means by uh you know b dot d l file you see the program you installed they all about that so that program is in sd on mine's other apps oh that's wrong yeah sd apps you can don't so what you need to do here on your SD card even a USB whichever one you got it's the same thing don't worry about it SD forward slash apps forward slash Nintendo forward slash and press OK that's changed OK again that's it now when you go back Here we are, mate. because in the apps folder there's a Nintendo, isn't there? And if you look at a Nintendo program, there's a build.dol file in there. In the program, that's why he was asking for, isn't it? Because when you put that program, there's three files in there, isn't there? And one of them is build.dol. So when you press, now obviously, I've selected a Nintendo now folder. The files in there. And when I do glory roll now, look what happens. See? No error. No error now. Check it out. No error now. Let's wait a moment. There you go, it worked. Told ya. Not a problem at all. Boom. That's how you do it. Okay. this awesome so to play these games you will need like GameCube controllers or Wii Classic controller you can use a Wii Classic controller and connect it to a Wii remote if you want to play like that there you go and the SD card check it out it works so we're going to test each each game out if they work is it USB or a GX man? Look at that. You have to use game controller uh, for the USB or a GX, okay? You can't, you know. Nice. Yeah. Check it out, so let's do it. Look at this. Looks really good, look at that. Check 
Let's do a story. What am I doing here? Can we just press start on you? Looks pretty good. <laughs> that was actually live center or something. Oh no, it's God oh. I got ya. You don't really play with me. Oh, wicked so. If you press the home board, the game will close. Yeah? Yeah. If you do that, it will go back. The game will exit. Yeah? Okay, that one works point. Mostly there's no, I told you there's no USB. It's gonna keep on showing the countdown and stuff like that. You will do that. Just skip that. Look at that zero GX picture, man. Check it out. Actually, the XD car is performing really, really well, don't it? On this. Yeah, it takes a bit of time, but it works. I think they all do that anyway. It just, the problem just works a lot. That's plus. There's your GX and the on Techno GameCube. Look at that. Game is an epic system though. Really good man, this game looks really good man. Well, of course, this was a hard one. <laughs> this could be hard, you know. Be careful. Oh no! Oh, it dropped already. It's pretty hard, isn't it? Huh? Really hard, man. Whoa! Ooh, I'm gonna watch this one. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. I like this track, man. It's hard. I'm gonna last very long and you know. Ah. Oh, you got tricked, didn't you?
Oh, okay, hold on. Damn. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Okay, we'll go to the next game now. The test. You just press that to skip that countdown thing. Just do that. Steve Kruger. Wow, the Japanese woman on there. Look at that. Right. Oh, hey, they all wonder what happened. I'm going to control it. The remote turned off. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there I am. Yo. <laughs> Okay, try it. I think uh, we're going to do a complete the song gameplay. Accept. Accept. This game is really good, man. It's an epic game on the Nintendo GameCube. There's some really good GameCube games, isn't it? When you have blue shots, the blue uh, bullets come there, yeah, if you have red, you know, then the red bullets come there, yeah. Bam. Really epic graphics, man, wow. So I press the home button. There you go. Thought that was a better gameplay for you. Really, really good, man. Let's just stay there. Try to look at that. And skip that. But when you got this SD card, you're gonna see that count now. As I already told you, now I'm not gonna keep on repeating myself. Yeah. My God, all that. Look at that. Epic stuff here. Yeah? This is really different. When you play the original Nintendo Wii game, you wouldn't see these kind of pictures on there. Yeah, you only see the just the icon of the original game, and this is different pictures on this. It's amazing the USB Lord GX what it does now. You have all these pictures on there. It's different. Nintendo. I'll say that Nintendo. There you go. <laughs> God, the remote's gonna switch you up. Stupid, silly man. Stop doing that, man. It's got a serious problem. What are you doing? Stupid is what I'm saying. Look at that. So let's just watch. This looks amazing. Mario Kart Double Left and Tender Game 2 was an epic racing game. F Zero GX and Mario Kart Double Left are both amazing racing games, man. Nintendo GameCube exclusive games, man. They're really good games, these are. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! There's a lot of action! Oh, I get away! The body each other. Oh, no! Is he not? There you go. Do, 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 do. 
Let's go. One player, two player, three player, four player. Yeah, there you go. Mario. Mario. Mario to Mario. Check it out, boy. Guys, look at that. What is it? Luigi Circuit. Okay. Oh, get away, you fool. Try and get me. Oh yeah! Let's go quickly! We wanna get ya! Here you go! Oh, really good. Hey! Oh no! Some of ya! Who pulled a flipping banana there? Watch, watch him. That's that banana still there. Oh, oh. Excellent. The yeah, game key controller is not very good for the Wii controller. The Wii, for the Wii controller. Man. Okay, press on board. Check it again. Look at that. Excellent. It's like you switching off the actual system. It's like that, eh? All right. So you have to keep on loading up like that, yeah? Because you're you actually like you're closing the system, really. That's why you know. Just press the button. Man. Skip the countdown. The SD card, man. Look at that, man. It's just performing really well. Really, it's amazing, man. You guys like that, man? Okay. Metro Prime. Wow, let's look at that picture, man. Very cool. The more you go into this whole of this learning this thing, the more it's the you know the icons, the backgrounds, and all that you're gonna get better pictures. I'm gonna show you how to do all these download these images, yeah. Probably my next video. I'm gonna show you all that. I will show you how to do all that. It's going to be really cool. How I got all them pictures. So you know the icons? They don't look like that. That's just originally what they were like that. I didn't do that. But you know when I, where the, where the press start screen comes, I, I did that. 
to change that picture on there. It's really easy to do, it's not very hard. Okay. So let's just watch this good scene. It's not very long, really. It just looks long. When you can, for me, I just change it. So the next one we're going to be using is uh, uh, the Kingston Micro SDXC memory card, yeah? With the USB card reader as well, yeah, I'm using a USB card reader, we're going to use it with that and see what happens, let's see what happens. So what you have to do, you have to set up the USB settings as well, you have to set that up. It's important you do that. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So you can leave your you can leave the SD card in there. You don't need to remove that, don't worry. Only if you can't put two USBs in there, okay? You have to remember that. One SD card, one USB is fine. What? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Six on five ring. That's the other one here. No. Has he said that? Scan it with the left button, the left shoulder button. Now with the R turbo, so you have to move it up with the left analog. Oh, you gotta go to precise control over here. Don't even target. There you go. Now you can jump. I'm trying to go to the jump ball. That's what's jumping. I got it right. You wanna go? Okay, so I must impress the relation. Okay.
Yeah, you, you press the same button while you're shooting, you just hold it to charge it up. Gives you this big, powerful firepower look. Yeah. Amazing. Works really well, man. It's awesome. This game is quite hard. You know, quite a lot of these game games are hard to run on. You know, like GameCube emulation programs. If your system's not that, you know, advanced. Okay, there you go. The press home button here, yeah. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Very bit long. So this should be the last game on the SD card. So I press just A here again. Just skip that game. Then. You don't need to watch all that. Really, this program was made for USB devices. But it's amazing, he actually works on my SD card, look. Really good man. Yeah, the last game. Sonic Heroes. Look at that picture. Yeah, he's got that music. Very nice. The music went different. Let's wait a moment. There you go. Okay, stand up. Let me say that. Well, it's on to you. He didn't say nothing. <laughs> Maybe he does. Heroes. You can press start on there, yeah? So, you know, I'm going to use my D-pad. Yeah. I didn't show you, so this is the actual remote, by the way. If you don't know what it is yet. Okay. And then uh, here at the bottom, that's the port. Yeah, that connector is for the from the Wii Classic controller. You have to put that below the Wii remote, okay? Just like that. And then here we got the actual controller. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there you go. So we are quick bit here. Makes everything fine. So I say. Here as well. Let's go. A few question marks there. So these are kind of, it's like they are it's like a team. You have three characters on each team. And you got here, Sonic, Dark, Rose. Catrix. You know all these teams, yeah? Yeah, yeah, choose them. Choose the teams. Who okay, you want to play with first? I'll go for the Sonic team first. Look at that. So take a look at this.
It speaks in the look in the letter. Let's jump to the plane. Put a blast in that. That was it's quite weird. See, it's hill, yeah? Here we go. It's quite a nice level, this seaside one. The quite original levels in this game, yeah? Majority of Sonic games are just made from old games, don't they? But this one's alright, it's like new. You get it? Yeah? Now continue then. He told you what to do. Yeah, it's exactly like Kaito, you know. Yeah. Oh god, this is hot. I can't just like you drop in this game now. Yeah, that piece, come on. Damn, where? Is acting weird, I don't know what he's doing. Now you're two tails. The, the, the weird thing is like the tails come probably like hi. That's what I meant by that. This, you know, this team thing is confusing, man. Oh, 
Ja, mit ist dem Hof. So. Okay, so there you go. Pretty cool. Played really well. It's a really epic game. So let's press the home button from here. Exit to the system menu. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut down the Nintendo Wii U. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that Kingston Micro SDXE memory card, yeah? With a USB card reader behind the Nintendo Wii U. So here we go. So first of all, we need to switch off the machine. You never ever put any SD cards or USB flash drives while the system's on. Otherwise, you could corrupt your files from these uh, memory storages. Okay, so be careful about that. Okay. Right. So, I'm gonna, so when you um, put these um, USB flash, because these are all now going onto the USB. Okay. So you need to connect it behind the first port of the Nintendo Wii U because the USB loader GX will not accept any port from port on the Wii U or the US ports there yeah? and it won't even accept the one from the back it's the second one so at the back it needs to be the first port okay the very first one so be careful about that Okay, the very first port at the back of the Wii U console, okay? That's all. Nothing else. Now you can turn it on. Okay. Boy. The system is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, now it's working here. What does it mean? Of course, it's not cooperating. Yeah, it's going on. <laughs> that was weird. Strange. Alright. So whenever you get this dialogue, this will come from the for the flash drives, yeah. 
You do not pour matty, okay? Do not do that. Okay, read this carefully, yeah? Do not pour matty. Press cancel. Come on, just press B, yeah? Now just press the plus on the view more. There you go. So now I'll put a USB card reader, uh, either with the Kingston Micro SDXC memory card, and let's see if it works with that. By the way, the SD card and the Micro SDXC are both FAT32. See, now that there's no countdown. Do you see that? Because once you put the USB on the first port of the Nintendo Wii U, uh, there will be no countdown. Uh, the other thing I need, to, I need to point out to you, yeah, nothing showed up. Do you see that? Yeah, the other thing I want to point out to you uh, is that if you put the USB flash drive in the front both USB ports and the back one the back second USB port the countdown will still show alright it means you're putting in the wrong USB port that's what it means because the one you're supposed to put it in that the USB loader GX accepts is the first USB port back of the Wii U console now Looking at this, these six games were on the SD card, yeah? Now we need to go into settings. Can you see that with it? Okay. Settings. And on the arrow to our right. Custom paths. You have to go to. Yeah, you have to go here. You have to go to. Hold on. The main GameCube path. Okay. The main GameCube path. Because look what it says here SD forward slash games. Forward slash again, but that's already been done here. Look, that was what this one wasn't it? Now the top one needs to be this. So you need to go. So you need to click on USB one. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that properly, will it? To see, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Which way are we going? Can you see here? So right the bomb, yeah. It says USB one. The USB one is the first port back of your Wii U, click on that yeah once you click on that you'll be in USB 1 and the root of your USB flash drive, click games can you see that? So now on the USB one, 
forward slash games forward slash. He's showing so cable too. Yeah, and press OK. Path changed. Yeah, press OK. Okay, let me just set this now properly. Now from here, press back. Back again. Voila. So cable 2 is on there. Look at that. See that? Now that's coming from my USB flash drive. And you know that I'm using a USB card reader. Uh, Kingston Micro SD XE memory card in there. And it look, it's working in there. Check it out. And it's not one of and it's not one of them USB flash drives. It's actually using it in the USB card reader. So let's see if it actually works. Let's check it out. Oh wicked look, it's got a link on there. Boom. Stop. Check it out. See that? Now, so let's watch this cutscene produced by Namco. Now it's work. This game is showing up on the USB flash drive which I inserted on the first USB port. Check it out. Amazing isn't it? Yeah. You watch the cutscene. And so come to on the Nintendo GameCube. One of the best Soul Cow game ever made. Still one of the best Soul Cow games. Yeah, links in the screen, you know. Amazing. Nice <laughs> talking. Um, what's wrong with him? Dun, 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 dun. This is amazing. Nobody ever showed you USB Loader GX working with a USB card reader, especially using a micro SD XC memory card. Yeah, this is amazing. It actually works with it. I actually didn't know it actually works with it. So I'm just, I did, I did give, I did do it myself first and to see what was going on. And it actually did work with that. Oh, Mitsurugi, the samurai. Yeah. Boom. Oh. oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. This nightmare. What, what's he up to now? He's, he's doing something. It's just amazing, you know these Nintendo Game games, eh? Wow, that the the consoles we got in today's date. Soul Calibur 2. You know, before we start this game, I do say one thing. Nintendo GameCube is a very popular system on the emulation. I tell you that, I mean, the amount of people play this on emulation is just epic, man. But I also think that Nintendo GameCube is one of them, you know, amazing consoles that I don't think any other brand can even touch it. Only, only console is a real competitor against Nintendo GameCube, in my opinion, 
It's just a Nintendo Wii, a Nintendo Wii U. No other console can actually beat it. No way. Not even Nintendo Switch can beat it. I don't think the Nintendo Switch is good than Nintendo GameCube. I don't think it is. The Nintendo GameCube is a far better system than Nintendo Switch. In terms of gaming anyway. So I mean, you know. Yeah. The real competitors, only the real competitors are just Nintendo Wii and Nintendo Wii U really against this console, really. Well, I will make a video on this, yeah. Uh, so, we look out the GameCube, Wii and Wii U. They are one of the finest games consoles ever developed in gaming industry. So, which console out of them three is one of the best one and is the number one console ever made? Mm, you have to wait for that video. So, let's play this one of the best and the most amazing Soul Calibur games ever developed. So, here we go. Where am I going? Okay, let's just make it a bit easier. Okay. Link. Darling, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna finish you off. Don't mess with Link, fool. Game looks really good, man. My god, look, the graphics are still really impressive, man, out of all this time. You look really good, man. He's pretty good for it, isn't he? Link is well. He's playing like the, the Legend of Zelda games, isn't he? Yeah. Check him out. You can say that again. Really amazing game. So. So I'm going to exit this. back to Wii U again. So I'm going to close the system down again. Okay. We're going to remove the micro SD XE memory card now. Okay. Which was connected through the USB card reader. And it worked the U through the USB card reader. You can use a micro SDXC card on the USB loaded GX. That's impressive. Nice going. Not a full hunting yet, cancel it. Okay, close the console now, yeah? Yeah, do that every time, yeah, we want to remove it. Now, I'm going to be using the Kioxia USB flash drive. Okay. Once it's uh, all set it up here. Uh, for your USB loader GX, you don't need to do the settings again. Now, now watch this. This game should show up through this flash drive automatically. It doesn't matter if you're changing the flash drive around. It doesn't matter about that. Okay? It don't matter. It 
to make that sound first. No, make sure. No. This might ask for a format again. See? Just cancel it. And then up to read. Okay. It should show up automatically now. There will, be, there will be no countdown anymore because once you connect a USB, it's fine. See that? Nothing happens like that anymore. See that? Automatically came up. Look, you don't need to know anything. Look. In this USB flash drive, there's Starbucks salt in there. See that? Hmm. I can even show you from the settings. Look. To make sure you more proof. Or custom pass again? Main GameCube path is USB 1 here. Forward slash games forward slash. There is, look, Star Fox Salt. Yeah. So we got, so let's try Star Fox Salt. Whoa, check that out. I mean. Okay. Be cool. Press any button. Nintendo, Namco. This is a pretty uh, epic Star Fox assault. Two little Genesis. Oh, let's watch this. Whoa, it's pretty loud! It's loud in the other games, man, look at that. They do pull the volume very high. Yeah! Yeah. It depends on how, how loud the sounds are on the game, anyway. Then they can read out on the speakers. Yeah. Then it will come real loud on the gamepad speakers, yeah? What did you say there? Oh, what did you say there? Single mode versus mode options. Bonus game, yeah? So single mode. Yeah. Ah, I'll be like a new user, man.
happy gamer. So here you got single stick, two stick, or something like that. There you go. And there I'm still cat. And then you got uh, new user again. Guest. Let's go to Silka again. Yeah? Story. In the story, and then the other ones are like mission. I think survival. Then I highlight it. Then you got something beginning here. And I think I continue the below that. Then you got level select. One of these. Okay. Looks really impressive. Wow. Wow, look at that. On the gamepad, man. Turn the Wii U gamepad. Star Fox Salt. And the GameCube. Star Fox, ready for duty. Ah, leave these losers to the pros. We'll <laughs> have them in no time. <laughs> it's not a great. Not only is that easy, as you say. They're pretty tough, these guys, I know. If I'm impressed, it's dun 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 Let's go. Phew. It's a space combat game. It's one of the best space combat games ever made on these, you know, these Starbucks games. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Ships are being destroyed one after the other. You can't give up now. Okay, now go with me. Take the left side. Let's go with us. Everyone 
Chú bị cuối cùng này Yeah, I have that you. Oh, these guys killed me. Awesome, brother. Hmm. Look at the sound of my game, guys. It's epic. Look at that. That's the sound of the Game Pass speakers. It's like a television quality, TV quality, isn't it? Really good. Watch it, watch it. Okay, that's you do. Really, really good, man. Epic stuff. 
really good. So there you go. I mean, so I'm gonna exit this one as well. Yeah, program. So we're gonna try the final USB flash drive. Go back to Wii U console again. Wii U mode actually should be same. Right, so we need to close the Wii U console again. Alright, yeah, so now we're going to be using a Toshiba USB flash drive. Okay, here we go. And you make sure you connect it to the first port back of the Wii U. That's the most important thing. Good. Mm. I think it's already showing the light in there. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Turn it on. Turn back the sound on the Wii console, please. No, it doesn't connect like that, does it? You come with that format thing if I connect to the flash drive. Yeah, there you go. You know it's in there now. And the Wii mode again. The game should show up automatically for the Toshiba USB flash drive. See that? The game didn't show up. Now I need to I need to tell you that why didn't it show up? Now first of all, we will go into settings. Custom pass. Okay, to make sure it's set it right. Okay, the main GameCube path. That's when you need to go. USB one. Now the other thing you need to understand very clearly. You know the main GameCube path. Where's run there? This main GameCube path is for USB flash drives. Okay? And you know the one which says SD 
GameCube path. That's for SD cards. Okay? That's for SD cards. When I, when I mean SD cards, I'm on about the, you know, the standard size SD card. It's that SD card I'm talking about. No other SD card I'm talking about here. Okay? So you know the SD card you have, just like that. So this is just made for the standard size SD card. Now, in, in here, we said main GameCube path. The USBs, yeah? So you can use uh, USB card readers and USB flash drives. That's what we tested here, didn't we? So it doesn't matter what card you got in the USB card reader. It'll work. Cause, so today I tried in the USB card reader the micro SDXC. It worked, didn't it? So yeah, you can use the USB card readers and put any memory card in there and it should work. Now here, for Toshiba, USB flash drive, it didn't show up. Let's click on it. Yeah, look. It's on USB 4 slash games 4 slash. It's right. And the game's showing up in there. Look. If you don't make me look. I've got root. This is the root of the that flash drive. You click on games folder down here. And in the games folder, there's Metro Prime 2. And when I press OK, path is changed. And you go back. Back again. It doesn't show up. Now, the SD card is PAT32. Yeah. The USB card reader, which had micro SDXC, that was PAT32. The Kyopsia USB flash drive, that was PAT32. But this Toshiba flash drive is an NTFC. That's why it's not showing up. Because Nintendo don't like uh, memory cards which are formatted into FAT32. It won't accept anything other than that. Because even this program is using Nintendo, doesn't it? Because <coughs> we use um, the main loader, isn't it? Path. Because Nintendo, because this program is using Nintendo as well. So Nintendo is always going to use FAT32 memory cards. Yeah, if your card not is your card NTFC, you need to format it into FAT32. That's why then it will work. But now this Toshiba USB flash drive is not FAT32, it's NTFC. That's why it's not showing up. So that's that's fine. So everything actually is tested. We know how to you know use this program. First of all, you need the USB loader GX. Yeah. Make sure it's in the root of your SD cards, your USB flash drives. Yeah. So in your root of your SD card and flash drive, you need, you should have an apps folder in there. Yeah. And then when you click on, click on the apps folder, you put the Nintendo folder in there with the three files. Okay. That's for Nintendo. Okay. If you, if you don't have a Nintendo. Now for the USB loader GX, it's the same thing. Root of the SD card, flash drive, apps folder, double click on it, and your USB loader GX folder should be in there with all the files. That's it. Do you need the USB loader GX? Like this is the USB, UX, USB loader GX program. And then, you know, whatever I showed you on the SD cards and the flash drive, they'll work on here, yeah? And that is all. In my next video, I will be showing you how to get uh, cover arts on the DVD cases. And even when you click on them like this, yeah, you get this picture, don't you? And stuff like that. Okay, I will show you everything how to do that. So, I'll probably have to download some new games in there to do all that. Because without that, because I already done that for these games, yeah. I won't have to do it again, can I? So there you have it. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.